next video shows how to uh, solve the problem if you don't see the container ID after a Docker run. In this case, I made my image. Uh, I said, okay, Docker run, and then uh, here this number and uh, my name and the, uh, and that stuff. Uh, and everything was there, but the, this, the software is not starting. And the reason therefore is um, when you do it uh, in, in your Docker application, <coughs> when you do here the run, for example, um, you see this one, in this case, we have this by default is docker.io. Uh, I don't know why this comes off, I'm just a beginner, but this docker.io is the problem. So when you uh, run that stuff, when you run it, then and do afterwards the uh, PS for listing, uh, listing everything, then you see again, I can't see everything. And the reason therefore is um, that it's that you have to select the uh, PS all. So you see the entire list. And after this, you see that list and that's the container ID and that's the uh, container name. So you're also able to stop it by that name or by the container ID. So take this one, copy, and uh, and you're also able to stop that now. So when we here, I say um, stop, and then the ID, and then the service stops. So the trick is to get all or get rid of this uh, docker.io.